Well, I'm not 100% sure of what happened there. I did see a practice lap. I did see someone cartwheeling down the uh, in towards Toyota, even in the practice lap, and uh, it was a bit of a messy start. I'm not sure whether I saw the green flag properly. In fact, the uh, starters are discussing that, but uh, all the riders are off down, heading down to turn one there. How many we got on the track? What five riders there at the moment? And this is Class A4, the air-cooled standard. Uh, bikes are pretty much identical to the last two races, but uh, it's a different weight limit, and we had earlier on in the Mitre 10 Fuller sponsored, uh, Fuller Tools sponsored class, the A2 was air cooled standard, 62 to 72 k's, kilograms, air cooled standard, 73 to 84 in the class A3, and now we've got Streeter's Suzuki, the local uh, fielding Suzuki uh, dealer, class A4, these are air cooled standard, 85 kilograms plus. So, uh, how many we got out there? We've got five bikes on the track, somewhere along the line, I think it was 101 Taylor Lock. Uh, on pole position, Kurt Shepard there in second spot, uh, Daniel Biggs, Marcus Teal, and Whitaker McLean. McKaylin, I don't know. Oh, that's a good word. I might keep it up my sleeve next time I'm playing Scrabble because that'll use a few letters up that I sometimes don't use. But uh, anyway, Fielding uh, High School, Freiburg High School, uh, we've got, uh, I think, three of each from that and uh, a lone contestant out there from the Taipei Area School there and that is indeed, oh, that's that name again, Whitaker McKaylin or McLean. So, uh, tight racing actually today. What do we have at the best lap time yesterday is, uh, is a 1.33 and a 1.34. We can't really get a good idea of what this lap time is because it is off a standing start, so they don't count as much as the flying lap, so we'll only get that on the second lap, but... Uh, Right now, we've uh, had Daniel Biggs go through in first place on bike number 56. I mentioned yesterday, I'll mention again the very uh, very important number of this in terms of fielding motorcycle racing. Uh, local legend uh, Craig Schur is now retired, but uh, he raced for all of his uh, career under the number 56 and had, I think, 23 wins at the uh, cemetery circuit. A hell of a lot of second and third places, but 23 wins. Uh, at the cemetery circuit under the number 56. Uh, and in fact, the uh, entire Craig uh, or Sheriff's clan are pretty handy motorcycle racers over the uh, years, so that's handy number. 101, Taylor Lock there in second spot, and 54, Kurt Shepard. So two fielding high school boys out in the front, uh, then followed by two Freiburg uh, boys there, Kurt Shepard and Marcus Teal there. And uh, to DNF or DNS is to Dylan Leach and Quinton Bishop, 533 and number seven. Uh, this is brought to you by Suzuki, the local Suzuki dealers. Don't forget, uh, we've got the Jixa Cup bikes out there for a lunchtime demonstration. I'm not too sure how many were coming along today. Uh, some of them might have been put off by the weather, but uh, we did have a list of maybe 10 bikes that possibly will turn up. Um, this is a new class that's come to New Zealand. It is full New Zealand championship status. You can win, and it also carries, I think, a prize money purse of $5,000 for the championship um, for the winner of that. So you can race the cemetery circuit on it if you're over 16 as well. Here we go. Daniel Biggs takes the win, and what's his lap time change? Down to 143. So uh, five seconds a lap that uh, first first lap is uh, the start lap is worth. What I'm saying, it was 148. Uh, for a standing start uh, lap as opposed to a uh, 143 for a flying lap. Kurt Shepard goes through in second spot. Uh, a lap ago it was Daniel Biggs in second spot, but uh, Kurt Shepard got ahead and uh, Biggs is in third place. We've got uh, fourth place Marcus Teal on the 539 bike coming through. I can't see the numbers either. I could just tell you that from the transponder. So, uh, in fact, Marcus Teal, yeah, Daniel Biggs gone through. That's it. Oh, hang on, here's a contestant running with his bike, I guess. Uh, what's the rules say? Do you have to cross the line with, uh, with your bike actually going? Are you still doing it? Come on, get on the inside. If you're going to be on the outside, you might not trigger the uh, transponder, but uh, certainly that wouldn't be allowed at uh, the, the, the higher-level races because of the speed differential. But uh, has he tripped the uh, button? It doesn't look like it. Yeah, all that 